the NAND robot display throttle control. This is the new style. It's got that M and power button. I'm going to be adding in this twist throttle that I bought from Amazon. The link will be below. But instead of soldering the wire directly, what I did is I went and bought a female connector. This is a Julet 3 pin connector. So we're going to adapt this connector to here so that if I should change my mind in the future to go to a different type of throttle, like a thumb throttle, I can. Remove this cover, install this in place of the Hall Effect sensor. Also make sure that the Hall Effect sensor is compatible, it's the 49E or not. Now due to the recent crash, I created this plate because my controller broke right here. So what I did is I put an aluminum plate so that I can still use it. I don't want to buy another one, especially when the display controller did not break. That to remove the back plate, this has to come off. Take this out. Because I've taken mine out before, I completely removed that screw. But here, this comes off, and you have your spring, and then you have that other screw. There is six screws. One, two, three, four, five, six. The back cover should come off. There it is. To remove the display, we'll need to remove these two short Phillips screws. Okay. There it is. That's the Hall effect sensor. So it looks like they pretty much uh, epoxied in this wire right here. So we, it's not going to be easy to remove that epoxy. We'll leave it the way it is. We'll have to work with it with the boards partially stuck to the rear panel. It looks also like there are already three wire holes. See that? To wire out the Hall Effect sensor. So I think the next step here is to map out the pins here. Remove the old Hall Effect sensor there and place these three wires into the, the three holes that's already pre-made there. Almost out. There it is. That's what it looks like. So that's what the first thing we're gonna need to do is drill that hole to get this cable in here. Once it's in here, then I can solder it onto those, onto the three pins there. Holes drilled right there. It's a 3 16th hole right there. So that's where we'll insert this Julet, the pigtail inside here. Now we can solder it onto here. So VCC is going to be on this side, and then the Hall effects is here. The center will be ground. For the previous mapping, we know that black is ground, black wire here, which is the center, center on this side, and the Hall effect H red, and the VCC is white. Plug this into here. The center is ground. Insert it right into the center. There. Okay. Okay, we insert the white right here. Insert the red wire through. Okay. okay, now that we've completed the solder, we just need to push this back in. Make sure the wire doesn't get crimped. The shortest, the two shortest Phillips screws, coarse thread. Okay, we just went and tested this and it works. You can close this up now. There it is. And 
put the five screws back in. I'm going to remove this because we don't really need it. There it is. I mean, the, now that we have the twist throttle installed, I want to also show other options because we use that Julep female three pin connector, the female. It allows it to adapt to other throttle devices like this long throw thumb throttle. So this, they sell a short throw thumb throttle. Same thing, it uses a Julep male connector, which these are also 49E series Hall Effect sensors. So we're going to do the throttle test. This marks where the throttle is dead stop, and this marks the maximum. As you can see, I did put a box behind here so it scrapes the tire as we rotate, so you can hear the tire starts rotating. So here it goes. You can see that at, from here to here, there's nothing. And then after about, maybe about here, you can hear the tire rotating slowly. There. That was right around here. So halfway at already 15 miles per hour. This is gear one. And we're hitting the top of gear one, so there's a lot more to go. It depends on the load, but just beyond the halfway point is where it hits the maximum. Go ahead and twist the throttle slowly. Let's see how it feels. How does it feel? Nice.